Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton with Active Countermeasures and I'm here today to talk to you about AI Hunter. Specifically, I wanna talk about what problem we solve as well as how we can help you better secure your network. When you look at existing security solutions, they tend to fall into one of two categories. They're either protection-based, keep the bad guys out. So things like firewalls, two-factor authentication fall into that category. Or there's security tools that are designed to be implemented when we know the bad guys are in our network. Incident handling is a great example of that. The problem is tying those two together. How do we figure out when our protections have failed and we need to go into response mode? And this is something that has been systemic within the industry. We've got some great examples. You know, the industry average for identifying that a network's been compromised is six months or more. In fact, that number is even a little misleading because most places find out from a third party that they've been compromised. The data has been found out on the internet someplace. Now they know they've been owned. They didn't figure it out through their internal security operations center. The other thing that's a clear indicator this is still a problem is we have people receiving the security attestations while they're in a compromised state. I mean, how many news stories have we read about companies that process credit cards that have received their PCI DSS attestation while someone was on their network pulling credit card information out? So this tie between when is our protection failed, when do we need to go into response mode, that's the problem that AA Hunter is focusing on resolving. And we do it by monitoring the network. One differentiator for us is we're not pattern matching on a stream that goes by. We're looking at big data. We're looking at 24 hour blocks of information. So we're watching a 24, the previous 24 hours to see, is there any indications of an internal system that's been compromised, calling out to the internet and creating a command and control channel. That's our core focus. That's what we go after. And we have a pretty unique solution in this space. To begin with, with low touch, you know, we need to monitor traffic going in and out of the internet. That's it. There's no agents that need to be installed and we can protect everything. Internet of Things devices that you can't install in, uh, software on or that are incapable of logging, we can protect those as well. If the attackers are encrypting data, we can still spot those command and control channels. We've also tried to create a tool that's very simple and easy to use. So it's not just the smartest person in the security operations center that can do the threat hunting, this can go all the way down to the junior analyst level. So let's look at a use case example of how AI Hunter would integrate into your day-to-day -day operations within your security operations center. As mentioned, AI Hunter continuously threat hunts your network, same as a security analyst would. So we're looking at multiple criteria, combining that together to identify which internal systems most likely to be compromised. We can generate an alert that goes off to your centralized logging system that can be Splunk, Logrhythm, QRadar, whatever it is you're using. Heck, we even support Slack. That'll prompt an analyst to go log into the AI Hunter interface. Once they do, the left-hand side of the screen, this is your action item list. Anything that's at the top of this list is what's most likely to be compromised. As you work through the list, less of a threat to the network. When we identify a system as being a threat, we also identify why we considered it to be a threat. And again, multiple criteria is being combined. So we're never going to generate an alert just because somebody talked to a server with a self-signed digital certificate or the user agent is different versus the rest of your desktops. We want to see a persistent connection as well. We want to see that a beacon is taking place or there's a long connection being held open. Once an analyst you know, reviews the summary information, everything is available for them to click through and say, okay, what were we looking at? In other words, in this particular case here, we were pretty certain this was a beacon. Why were we certain it's a beacon? Well, if we look at the last 24 hours worth of data, we can see almost 800 connections are being generated each hour. This looks like it's a little bit more of an advanced attacker because they're not beaconing on a specific time interval. They're trying to vary their timing and hide that way. But we still catch it. We still identify it. Now it's something you can drill down on even further. So we're providing data on a number of different threat vectors. But we also want to give you the ability to go in and investigate specific IP addresses. A couple of good examples. Let's say you identify an internal system as being compromised and it's beaconing to a system on the internet and you want to see if any of your other internal hosts are beaconing to it as well. Plug in the IP address here, we'll give you that information. Let's also, as another example, say you have an internal IP address that you're saying it might be compromised, it might not, I need more information to figure that out. Again, you can plug that information in here and we'll go through and we'll show you what information we have on that system. We give you a summary of all the communications that system's done over the previous day. 
We also go through and highlight in orange any connections that look like they're suspect. Anything in gray is probably safe. If you see a dotted line, that means under that first byte of IP address, there's going to be multiple situations. And then you can also go in and click on any of these IP addresses and we'll come back and give you whatever data we have. Not only is AA Hunter a cutting edge threat hunting product, but it's also competitively priced. In fact, we run an open site license. What that means is if you have a one gigabit link to the internet, or if you have 10 gigabit, we don't care, we don't charge you extra. If you have five connections to the internet you need to protect instead of just one, again, there's no extra fees, there's no hidden costs. If you'd like to learn more, or if you'd like to book a personalized demo, please feel free to visit our website. Thank you.